Hey, it's Jay, and I got another video for y'all today. So in this video, I'm going to react to what is S E X like for straight woman? S E X Ed. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube, so I'm just gonna spell it out. But yeah, by Jubilee. So um, this seems interesting. I wanna know what these girls think. What do you mean? I wanna know. You know how it is for them. I mean, it's kind of interesting. So I'm like, you know, I'm just watch it. But if y'all new here, make sure y'all like and subscribe, hit that bell icon, kind of do all the good stuff. I'll gladly appreciate it. And yeah, if y'all got any reactions for me, I mean, y'all got any reaction request for me, put it in the comments. I'll react to it. And yeah, um, hope y'all got shots next nice and y'all drinks. Make fun of getting to it. Now let's go. Hey. This is interesting, so I'm gonna, you know, what check it out. What does it feel like when a man penetrates you? Can you explain it in a way where men can understand? They got some good questions, right? <laughs> hey, they got some juicy questions, I see that. I'm just curious, I'm just being curious. <laughs> I'm laughing because I seen a comment, this person said, Jubilee teaching hurt. younger <laughs> generations more do than school it does. I pleasant experience. But it was painful. And I was sore for like painful. days after. He but got you sore? I stopped. He was really careful about it and he made sure hey, to ask me if it did hurt or not. Yeah. I wasn't used to have any, having anything in my vagina. Like I didn't even use tampons at the time. I didn't have bleeding, anything what? like that. It was like very great. We did it, it was done. Got burritos after. It was very enjoyable. I wish there was some <laughs> sort of education on like more the emotional side because after like my first it took me so long to even like kiss anyone again just because it felt very odd to me because this was like something that had been reserved for one person for a very long time and like I was trying to navigate like dating and relationships and I felt like I couldn't have a normal relationship because any man coming on to me, even if that's what the setting was, even if it's something that I would have wanted to do, it just What is she talking about? Me. What is she talking what does about? I feel like when a man penetrates you, can you what? explain it in a way where men can understand? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best for a man. When you really have the urge to go to the bathroom, <laughs> that feeling, that like relief, Except for it's the reverse. You don't like feel it in one spot. It kind of like you feel it. You know when you have to like you put Whoa. Like, a, like a lid she on something. She said you feel it's it. Oddly satisfying when you put a <laughs> lid on a jar of pickles. And so, <laughs> did I really just describe it as that? Do you ever worry your vagina doesn't look normal? Yes. <laughs> I felt like I didn't have a normal vagina. Was she Asian or not anymore? Or I definitely Asian did at one point yeah, because then I would hear like this whole rhetoric about like roast beef or whatever, and I was like, my vagina kind of does look like roast beef, and I don't. Oh know my god! <laughs> if you are on birth control, how does it? Oh! Work your body? So That's it's funny. Not something I'm currently on, That's funny. but when I was on it, it. I believed that it would clear my acne because that's something I heard for a long time. Hey, she, she kind of cute. I'm going to be honest, she kind of cute. Hey, I listen for sure had mood swings, you know and I feel like that's not who I am at all. <laughs> it might take you several different tries with birth control to find one that works for your body. For me, I loved the NuvaRing. My sister tried the NuvaRing. She gained like 15 pounds and hated it. The main thing is to make sure you're always taking it because I have a tendency to forget and that's when it really messes you up. How old are these women the right here? Um, I mm. bled for almost a year straight. So that wasn't fun Yikes. at all. If you have any like questions, just talk to a doctor about it. Sex on your period, how? <laughs> oh, oh, that's yeah. nasty, bro. Um, I hope I hope I, I hope I don't encounter well, that if I'm with a girl. We doing. I did have my period for a year straight, so that's something I had to figure if, out. If, if I'm going yeah, crazy and she had a period on me, anaconda. I'm R killing her. Honestly, I'm, it feels better because I'm R killing your ass. I don't care. I'm so, I don't cuss on this channel. I just have to get that. I'm it's, sorry. It's not as, that, that's that's crazy. I didn't mean to cuss. Personally, I don't. This is a PG-13 family friendly channel. I'm already cramping up a We don't cuss it. You're already. But still, I'm R killing you, Simple. Things like diva cups and different types of period products per se that can go inside of you and you can have mess free, that's how they advertise it, mess free period sex. Is it normal to masturbate? 
I know some yes. people who would say, no, it's not. And I disagree wholeheartedly. I feel it's like, not normal. like I don't master my house. I don't watch, I don't do anything. That builds up. And I feel like masturbation is a way to kind of let it out. I do it probably every day. <laughs> Have you ever questioned <laughs> oh, she a freak. Oh, yes. Oh, that's hor I went she like horny. I questioning phase like, would I? <laughs> She acts the horny, bro. Really be attracted to another woman. I think that's very normal for people to go through. Even just like coming I mean, to terms with the fact that you're straight. I mean, it, it, it's, it don't matter. Like, if you're a female, you like other females. Off, but I think it was more of an. It's cool. If you're a dude, you like other dudes, that's cool too. Like, like, uh, to like uh, that's not how I roll. You know, I like, you I like females. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you're a baddie, you, yes. you know what I'm saying? You want to talk yes. to me up, my baby. I, I'll give you the snap. My IG is in the description. Especially during puberty. There but was no, sort look. of like this hey. feeling ashamed. I don't have no girls. problem with it as long as they're um, not being assessed to me. I, I don't, I don't go that way. Like if I felt a little horny, I was like, oh no, like this isn't normal. If I'm horny, I just sit through it and I don't do anything about it and I wait till it passes. But because of that, like later my body, like just when it's like about to orgasm, my body like shuts down. It's like, no, you're not gonna. That's, you're weird. And that's just she's weird. Mind blocking it. You're is, weird. What I'm the? Really what is wrong weird. with you? Have you ever faked an orgasm? Hmm. Imagine. One time in my early days, because I felt so bad. <laughs> but never again. I That's felt tough. like ashamed that I was taking too long. You kind of have this expectation that you're going to act like the girls in the pornos. Is it important to find a partner that can make you orgasm? If they can't make you orgasm at first, I think you should find a partner who's willing to learn and adjust to what you want so that you both can have a better time. And I think if they learn to adjust to what you like, then they're a partner worth having around. And that's, that's the partner you wanna have sex with. For so long, uh, This is education, I forgot to say that. This is education years, for me sex, and for y'all. We all learn something new. You two can't take this down. This is educational. School is not even teaching us this. So I wasn't Barely. masturbating. I wasn't communicating with my partner. Teach them young. Know like, what honestly, I was thinking they should I teach kids about this when they're like, and I, I'm like, I'm lying. I'm lying to me. I'm lying to him. The whole experience just could be so Because, like, you know, that's so I the point when they start thinking about that stuff. In bed. Like seven, eight, we had the conversation, and yeah. he was saying, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So it's not necessarily important for me to be with a partner that makes me orgasm, but it is important for me to be with a partner that prioritizes my pleasure. Do you feel like you mostly just accommodate men and what they want during sex? I definitely get like nervous in the sense of like, am I performing well? Am I doing a good job? At first, yes. As I started to be with more people, I started to realize, I started to ask, well, what do you want me to do? What do you like? And I was like, what do, what do hey. I like? <laughs> That's, I don't know. You what don't do know you what consider you like? assault or rape? I think I may have been, but I don't exactly know. Mm. Oof. This took a turn a little bit. I know bit. a lot of people are this took a turn, dang, Julie. Is this big, scary, aggressive thing. Yeah, hold on, hold on. It could be something like s with someone you're. No, girl, yeah, really I've seen a video of somebody someone talking someone about this. This girl would be like, I want to get. I'm going to talk about this in the video. Is it like I talk about an assault? <clears throat> My first time was like a coercion kind of situation. I knew at some point I wanted to do it with that person, but I just didn't feel like I was ready per se, and I was pressured into it, which was if something you're not ready, like, don't, we're not really you know, taught, taught about like coercion and stuff like that in ready. school and really the depth of consent. So I didn't really have the understanding like I just because I did say yes eventually and it did end up going that way that that's not okay. So many of us have this question. I've had very personal conversations with dear friends who didn't come to terms with the fact that they had been assaulted or raped until five or six years later. I feel bad for people if who you can that, you know, afford or if your insurance covers it, get some professional advice and guidance on this because can't. this is a Even question they try to fight, that you know, really needs yeah, to be talked it's, about it's more. Like these people out right here be sick. I need to be careful who y'all be around and who talk to. That girls masturbated. The range of consent and what is no. I wish I was taught more about sex not being. No is no. Y'all need to learn that. No is no. Okay, so I got a few things to talk about. All right, so um, yes um, what was I gonna say? 
Bro, I still forgot. Dang. Can y'all remind me? No? Okay. <laughs> Hey, I know I'm looking bow. I mean, I'm, I know I know I'm looking bogus right now. Hey, it is, it is but uh, um, like it's I feel bad for people like that. That be you know again, right? Like, bro, like they being they getting held against their will, and they can't really if they try to fight, it, it it's just not gonna work out because like somebody might be super strong, and they will hold them out and no, you gonna get down, do what I want and stuff like, bro. I feel bad for those people. Like honestly, like you gotta be careful who you hang around with, who you talk to, and what type of people you around like you gotta be you gotta be aware of that because there's a lot of crazy people out in, in this world a lot of sickos you gotta be careful like honestly be aware of your surroundings like always watch out because yeah you don't know what to expect from these people and it can sometimes be people you really you know and they might turn out being crazy and do something messed up that you never thought they would ever do and they just out of nowhere just go go crazy like it, 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 yeah be careful man but that's not always the case, but that can be the case. That's a possibility. But, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Honestly, I'm going to edit this video and be like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. And then get mad because I forgot. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not going to sit here and waste time and keep thinking about what I was going to say. Yeah. But um, this video was interesting. It was educational. Wait, that's what it was. Okay, yeah. Wait, no, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, was it? I don't know. They should teach kids about this starting in seventh grade. I personally think that because that's when you start thinking about it. <clears throat> I started thinking about that stuff when I was in seventh grade, eighth grade. Like that's when that really came in my head. Um, yeah, but um, that was this video was interesting, educational enough for me and y'all. But yeah, if y'all new here, make sure y'all like and subscribe. If that bell, I can do all the good stuff. I gladly enjoy it. Oh, yeah, today is December first, twenty first. Let me know what powers y'all want to have. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just making up stuff. If y'all want to have or any power y'all want to have, let me know. But yeah, uh, whatever. I don't think I'm going to say that. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.